All right, let's talk about the servo saver. This is a um, this is a test piece, so it's not production. Uh, production will be um, aluminum, and they will be assembled. But the way that I've got this sorted out is you're going to have to take your uh, your three millimeter flathead screw, put a little Loctite on this. I would probably suggest doing this earlier in the build so it can settle. And what you're going to do, you're going to put the screw in, go all the way down. You don't tighten it all, you know, don't snug it tight, tight, but just till it stops. And then what you want to you want to back, back it off one half revolution. Okay. That's going to give you enough play to make it smooth and act like it's supposed to act. All right. Once that, once that blue Loctite bonds, um, it won't ever move again. I've also noticed that if you take all the slop out of this, the car just won't go straight. Like it's just, you know, the, the, the RCP tracks are rougher than it seems. They're really pretty, pretty rough. And so your car needs a little bit of wander. Same with the rear axle. You want to have about a maybe, oh, 0.2, 0.3 millimeters of, uh, of play on the back axle for the same exact reason. All right, so that's that part. Let's get to the, the links. Now, the F1 requires a little bit more toe out than um, the R1. Um, the same thing, if you do, if you want, if you build your car where your tires are straight, it's not going to go straight down the straightaway. It's going to wander everywhere. It'll be great in the infield, but the, the straightaway, it won't go straight. So, uh, we're going to want this to be 25.0 end to end. I think this is a little short right now. I'll, we'll adjust it. Yeah. So this one is, uh, I'll just build this as well. It's 20, 24 point. 24.7, so we're gonna adjust that. So if you look closely, there's a stripe on the tie rod on one side or the other. That stripe, it means that side to that is going to be a right-hand thread. So we wanna make this bigger, which means you wanna turn this out. I've got a turnbuckle tool here. These are coming soon, by the way. And you're gonna hold it. And we know that we wanna go out to make it bigger, but both sides, because this is a left-hand thread, will also need to go the same direction. So what you're gonna do basically, you're gonna move this, we're gonna go this way, and we're gonna move this one the same exact direction, and we're gonna remeasure. Okay, we're going the right way. So 25, 25.0, 25.1 is probably where you want to be at. All right, good. Now, another tip that I'll tell you is when you put the, the link on to the servo saver, put the stripe to the outside on both sides, and I'll explain to you why. If you do that, whenever you wanna make an adjustment on the fly, you know, one of the biggest pains is uh, messing with the turnbuckles. But what you can do is that one revolution is about a half a degree. So what you'll do, is say this is the car. You'll actually put your turnbuckle tool on the link, and depending on which way you wanna go, just move the outside one. You're only gonna go one revolution this way or one revolution that way. It's gonna change your toe degree, a total of one degree total for both sides. So half degree on the right, half degree on the left. Okay, so that's that part is done. Now let's talk about the drag link from the servo arm. So the kit will come with, of course, your, your, your plastic ends. It's also gonna come with two of these um, 1.6 by four set screws that basically go inside like that, and then the ends butt up, and then you do 90 degrees for that. 